Okay, so I've logged into Receipt Bank and in front you'll see the inbox. I've restricted this to view the invoices uploaded by a particular employee. Any of the items can be selected by clicking the checkbox on the left hand side of the screen uh, where my mouse is pointing to. And the idea is that we are going to produce an expense report for this employee, which we would expect the employee to hand in at the end of a given month for us to pay. The first point in dealing with this is to make sure the invoices have been coded correctly. And for this, I'm only going to deal uh, with the first two. So as usual, clicking on the blue receipt will bring up the item that's ready to be coded. I'm going to discount the VAT on this item. I'm going to change it into a travel cost. Um, and I'm going to then go straight to the next item and do exactly the same thing. No VAT here. Again, I'm going to change this to a travel cost. OK, uh, this item has not been paid. And I'm going to remove the payment method. Um, and now I'm going to go back to my inbox. Um, and you can see the two items here that are now greyed out because I've looked at them. So for this demonstration, I'm going to select both of those items. And now notice that this Add to Expense report is now available. And so I'm going to click Add to Expense Report. And for this particular item, I'm going to create a new report. If there's an existing one, I could add it. Um, so I can actually build up the expense report over the course of a month. I'm going to click New Report. In the name, I'm going to put Cheyenne July 2017 Expense Report. That will help me identify the item. Um, although I am going to allocate that as being for Cheyenne. And I'm going to put a report date on here of 31st July because it is my intention to add additional items to it throughout the month. I will click Add. And we're now waiting for that expense report. And you can see now it says it successfully added two receipts to the expense report. And at the top, I can now go to Expense Reports. And here is my expense report. And if I wish to look at it, I can just click on the blue items and it shows me the two items concerned. And as usual, I can hyperlink to the invoices. Now, I don't want to publish that yet, uh, but there was one that I published earlier for June 2017. And so I'm going to hop across to zero. And as you can see, this is the Shyam expense report for 2017, uh, which is shown under contacts. And if I click on that item, um, it's going to show me his account. There's only one item in it. Um, and I can click on the actual item concerned, which has not been uh, approved yet. Um, here is the item. Um, and now, as is usual with Zero, the uh, invoice itself is shown under Documents, which is a PDF. And there is my uh, PDF, which is a little bit hard to see, but we can download that. So that is now downloading to my screen. And here is the item in Adobe. And notice there's a hyperlink against every item, which if I click on View, it opens the item up into a, another browser window with a copy of the invoice. And so the employee can put all his expenses through Receipt Bank, amalgamate them for the end of the month, submit the expense report to you, and you can pay it in one go. So there are no, not loads of items um, in your supplier's ledger um, showing. Thank you.